In this lesson, we're going to learn how to edit our edge patterns. Now, editing the edge pattern is uh, as simple as selecting it and change the properties. And we're going to take a look at that in this lesson. And I'm going to select this uh, edge pattern and I'm going to change these settings. For example, change that to 3. Enter. Give it a little angle here. Now that's great. Probably give it another kind of pattern. And now, as you see here, this uh, pattern is associative. That means if we were going to select this boundary and uh, change uh, its shapes, the pattern is going to go with it. But what happens if we delete that uh, boundary? Well. Uh, Let's uh, look at my command line here. It says uh, "hatch boundary associativity removed." So AutoCAD first removes the associativity and keeps the hatch itself here for us, and we can still change its uh, shape. And the shape of that uh, that boundary is uh, still here. We can add vertex to this sample and uh, we can select these vertices and change the shapes and do all kind of things. So let's see and work this uh, on a little more practical example. Now I have this uh, mechanical part here that uh, I want to change the settings of this uh, patterns to fit a little better to this uh, part here. I'm going to zoom a little. First of all, I have selected this and we're going to change this to 2 and change the shape maybe to something else maybe this one and let's make these fit here add some vertex here that's great That is good enough. Whenever we're done with the hatch pattern, we could simply click on this close hatch editor and it deselects the hatch pattern and closes that hatch properties panel. Now when uh, we have edited one edge pattern, uh, the modifying the other edge patterns is uh, as simple as uh, just selecting those patterns and clicking on the match properties uh, button there and select the hatch object and it's going to do the other works for you I'm going to press escape here select this that has changed let's change this one more time uh, to 
where it says and this and press escape to do so with the under that and that's great we have a lot of uh, properties in on match patterns and we could change those as simple as selecting those and changing those properties and AutoCAD has done a lot on these match patterns uh, to provide us uh, the best results as possible.